In 2005, I had five figures worth of debt and I was earning just 14K a year. Boo. Bad times. But in 2020, I was debt-free, mortgage-free and financially independent. Good times. Later that year, I decided to put a mortgage on the house, racking up a quarter of a million pounds worth of debt. Why the hell would I do that? Well, I wanted to build life-changing wealth and inflation-proof income for life. And one more important reason, I could borrow that money for free. And you can too. In this two-part debt double header, you're gonna have to prepare yourself because I might just blow your mind. I'm gonna show you how I got paid to buy and own a property using money that I borrowed for free, which provides me an income for the rest of my life. And how you can use the same principles as a complete beginner to vastly accelerate your path to financial independence. And we're not just talking about 10%, 20%, or even 100% returns. I'm gonna show you how we borrowed money to make infinite returns. All that is bad, never, ever, ever go into debt. Oh yeah, whatever, granddad. Times have changed, house prices are out of reach, energy prices are exploding, and I want to retire in the next four years when stop working for that down at the factory. Yeah, no, I'm sorry for swearing, granddad. Yeah, uh, uh, no, no, uh, that clip wasn't aimed at you, it was for uh, some other old person. We've been brought up to believe that all debt is bad, but it's a classic oversimplification. So you're saying debt's cool, like me? No, on both counts. Debt isn't good or bad, it's a tool. And depending on how you use it, it can be both. If you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you how I got paid to own five flats using money that I borrowed for free. And you can use the same approach. You just gotta get your head around using debt and hitting that like button. Don't fear debt, respect it. Debt is an emotive word that triggers a fearful reaction in many. And for good reason, debt can cripple you. I know firsthand how that felt back in my 20s, but I was irresponsible. I used debt as a consumer. I used that money to buy cars, to get drunk, to party and live for the weekend. And when I ran out of money, I borrowed more. To put it bluntly, the Hugh in his 20s was a total bend, and not the masterpiece of perfection you see in front of you today. Just because it's possible for something to have a negative consequence, like debt, doesn't mean we should avoid it. Disaster can arrive from driving a car, being in a relationship or playing sport. So should we avoid all those things too? Don't fear debt, respect it. Once you understand how this works, you can not only avoid financial ruin, but you can do the opposite and actually use it to your advantage to become extremely wealthy. Good debt versus bad debt. There are two types of debt. Bad debt, that takes money out of your pocket, and good debt, which puts money in your pocket. We're gonna abandon the consumer thoughts about debt being either good or bad, and we're gonna think like an entrepreneur or an investor and know that it can be both. Quiz time! Let's put that debt knowledge to the test. If you borrow 20,000 pounds for a car, a boat, or a horse, is that good debt or bad debt? I'll wait. Bad debt. Boo. Final answer. The correct answer is neither. It depends. Okay. <laughs> does it take money out of your pocket or does it put it in? If the car, boat or horse are for personal use, then it's considered bad debt. But if those same things are for business use and you rent them out for a profit, then they become good debt. On with a quiz. Question number two. Which is worse? Someone borrowing money to buy a car or Someone not hitting that subscribe button to help Hugh's YouTube channel grow. I'll wait. <laughs> Borrow money for a car? Final answer. The correct answer is, they're both devastating outcomes. <laughs> Steer clear of car loans and subscribe now to avoid all future pain. On with the quiz. Final question. Ooh, it's a good one. This building consists of five flats and costs 400,000 pounds. Hypothetically, if you inherited 400 grand cash, woohoo, granddad died. Which option would you go with? Option one, buy the building for 400 grand in cash. The total rent for the five flats is 35 grand a year. The total running costs without a mortgage are five grand a year. So when you take away the expenses away from the rent, your total profit is 30 grand a year. Or Option two, buy the building with 100 grand cash and borrow the remaining 300 grand. The rent is still the same at 35 grand a year. The running costs are the same at five grand a year, but the 300 grand mortgage costs 13 grand to service. So your total combined costs have now increased to 18 grand a year, meaning your profit is 17 grand a year. So which option would you take? Option one or option two? Is this a trick question? <laughs> I'll take option one. The one with the bigger profits, please. The correct answer is option two, borrow 300 grand. What the f This is total bullshit. 
And that's the end of the quiz. In option one, you're paying 400K to get 30K a year profit. Your return on investment is 7.5%. In option two, you're paying 100K to get 17K profit, but your ROI is at 17% over twice as much. You can calculate return on investment by dividing your annual profit by the investment amount and multiplying by 100. Yeah, okay, but who cares? I'm getting more profit in option one. Well, that might be the case, but you've got no more money left. Your 400K is used up, but in option two, you still have 300K left over. So you could, in theory, buy three more investments just like this and multiply your profits by four. So 17K profit in option two, multiplied by four equals 68 grand a year. So if we compare those two, 30 grand a year for option one or 68 grand a year for option two. If you can get your head around this, can you see how utilizing debt and leveraging your money more efficiently can really enhance your wealth? Debt isn't inherently good or bad, it can be both. Look at it like an investor or an entrepreneur. See what the debt is costing you and weigh that up against the benefits. And there's actually a third secret option, which is how you can get paid to buy property. And let me show you what that is. The numbers that I used in the last question were actually taken from my first investment, the Anvil. I bought this building with my business partner, Martin. So what I'm about to share with you isn't easy to do, and it wouldn't have been possible without his help and experience. But it's real, and it demonstrates the power of using debt to make money. So this building is worth 400K, and we're about to put a mortgage on it for 300K, but we didn't buy it for 400K. We bought this pub for 85 grand with cash, the building had been left to rot. It was subject to vandalism, an arson attack, and it had been left unmortgageable. We borrowed money from investors, my business, and even a local council to complete the development. It cost us 180 grand in total to complete the transformation. So the total combined costs, including the purchase price, development, and borrowing costs, set us back 265K. And it's now worth 400K and it's mortgageable. So we're gonna go into debt, put a mortgage on it, and reap the rewards. If we put a mortgage on this, we only need to leave 25% of our money down as a deposit. In this case, that's 100K of the 400K total. We'll then receive the remaining 300K in cash from the mortgage company. Now this is what I'm going to blow your mind. In total, it cost us 265K to purchase and develop it, and we're about to receive 300K for borrowing money against it. So we not only got the building for free, we got paid 35 grand to own it, and it pays us 17 grand a year profit for life. But it's actually ridiculous when you think about it in those terms, but that's what's possible with property investing. When you pull all of your original money out of a deal like this, it's known as an infinite return on investment. Now, when I first learned about infinite returns, I picked my jaw off the floor and dedicated the next three years to learning about property. If you're interested in seeing how I built a million pound portfolio in 18 months starting from scratch, you can check out a presentation I did on my first three deals on my mentors channel just here. But whoa, whoa, not yet. I'm not done with you yet. I've got nothing to sell you. You don't have to watch it. It's just there if you're interested. I'll also put a link in the description. I share this confusing wizardry, not to brag, but just to show it's possible to totally transform your life by leveraging your money wisely. I hope this video has inspired you to look at debt differently. Like we got paid 35 grand to own five flats. That's crazy. Wanna hear some more craziness? The money I used to buy the anvil in the first place was from the money I got from putting a mortgage on the house, which I also got for free. Stay tuned for part two next week where I show you how I did it. If you enjoyed this video, you might wanna check out this video here where I show you how I retired in four years. And in the meantime, you might wanna give your granddad a hug.